Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking channel, where we make simple and delicious dishes. Today, I have a special treat for you. I will be showing you how to make the famous hot chocolate bombs. And on top of that, I'll show you an easy way to make them without using a silicone mold. If you haven't seen these before, hot chocolate bombs are hollow chocolate spheres filled with hot chocolate powder, mini marshmallows, and when you put it in a cup and pour hot milk, the bomb spins, melts, and then bursts out with little marshmallows. They're a fun treat and would make a great holiday gift for friends and family. Let's begin. For this project, you will need saran wrap, dozen of eggs, cornstarch, mini marshmallows, chocolate for melting, and your favorite hot chocolate mix. Start by cutting your saran wrap in about 10 by 10 inch squares, which is about 25 centimeters per side. Next, you will need a light dusting of cornstarch. Get your melted chocolate ready. It should be fully melted, but not too hot, and take out the eggs out of the refrigerator. The eggs need to be cold for this process to work. Before you start dipping the eggs in chocolate, look at your egg and visually identify the thickest part of the egg. When you dip the egg in chocolate, you want the chocolate to be just a little bit above that line. When the eggs are out of the refrigerator and in room temperature, they will start sweating. And it's important to wipe the moisture off them with a paper towel. The eggs will continue to sweat even after we wipe them. But remember, cornstarch. It will absorb the excess moisture and the eggs will easily slide out out of chocolate shells once we're done. You'll see how this works in a bit. Dip the tightly wrapped egg into chocolate. Remember where our mental line is? Wait about 10 seconds and dip the egg again to make sure the walls of the spheres are not too flimsy. Carefully set the egg inside the empty egg carton. You will want all the eggs to sit in their nest diagonally from each other to avoid accidental touching. Continue the process for all 12 eggs and then pop them in the freezer for about 5 to 10 minutes for the chocolate to harden. When the chocolate is finally out of the freezer, we are ready to start assembling our chocolate bombs. At this point, I like to put on food safe gloves to make sure that the heat of my hands will not melt the chocolate or even worse, leave fingerprints. If you don't have gloves, just use another piece of saran wrap to hold the chocolate shell in your hand. Untwist the plastic and as gently as you can, really take your time here, start twisting the egg until you feel it loose. Then slowly pull it out of the plastic then slowly and gently peel off the plastic wrapping from the chocolate walls. Set it on a cool plate and repeat the process for the rest of the shells. Warm up a separate plate, either by microwaving it for about one minute or dipping it into hot water and wiping it dry. Use the hot plate to melt the rough edges. This should only take a second or two. Add about one tablespoon of hot cocoa powder. And stuff as many mini marshmallows as you can fit in. Melt the rough edges of a second half of the sphere and close the chocolate bomb. The melted edges is enough to seal the bomb and the seal doesn't have to be perfect, just enough to seal without any gaps. In the next one, as you can see, I was not so lucky with the perfect seal and ended up with a couple of gaps. But no worries, chocolate is very forgiving and we could just seal any imperfection with more melted chocolate. After you finish sealing all your spheres, just put them back in the refrigerator for a couple of minutes to make sure all the chocolate is hardened. 
The chocolate spheres are ready and we could use them, but I like to drizzle them with a bit of white chocolate just to make them a little bit more presentable. Now it's time to make hot chocolate. And as I found out, there is an art to pouring. On my first attempt, my milk was boiling hot and the cup had straight edges and the bomb didn't spin or burst. Um, it just kind of melted. Still tasty, but not much of a visual effect. On my second try, I took a cup which was narrower on the bottom and I used slightly cooler milk and it worked out much better. Just look at it. It spins melts a little and bursts out with little marshmallows, which is exactly what we wanted. Hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more awesome content.